this one is now not the linear elastic material behavior. This is about general material behavior. And Hooke's law is then complemented by many things. I only want to show you one thing, and that is viscosity. OK, so we have linear elastic isotropic material as before, and we add viscosity. OK, in the special case of 1D, all this is the same. You saw this already on the previous slides. And here comes the only new player, and that is the strain rate. OK, so before we had sigma 1, 1 equals E times epsilon 1, 1. And now we have viscosity multiplied with strain rate, which goes into the stress. So this is now the stress-strain relation, stress-strain relation for an elastic material. And this is the stress-strain rate relation for a viscous material. And a fluid would be only having this. A solid will have this. Solid, elastic solid will have only this. OK, if you do something else, if you deform an elastic solid beyond the limits of elasticity, then it will have both. And yield stress fluids and other complicated things like toothpaste, for example, has both elements. OK, now, and this is now allowing us to do all the operations which we did, but there's an additional term here. E is the Young's modulus, eta is the viscosity. In a combined stress state, it's possible to superpose, so you can add you can do all that what I had before. This is the stress strain relation, Hooke's law for the elastic solid. And the viscous term actually is only a small addition to that. So this is the tensorial material for viscoelastic object materials. OK, so it's only a small addition. And but I had to show you such that you can work on exercises V15, V14, V15, V16. OK, now energy. What do we do now? We do the same thing as before. We use the definitions. We use the stress here. And now the stress has a viscous term. We do the same thing for the elastic energy. energy. The stress here, if it has a viscous term, nothing changes. It's only the, the stress is placeholder also for the viscous term. The elastic energy of a body with volume V. Now take this one, which we had before, nothing new take this one and insert the viscosity into the stress and what gets out what comes out is the the elastic body stress and the viscous stress okay and the two are added up to each other and this one you can solve in one of the v exercises it will be solved 